Never in my life have I ever had the infamous red bag chicken from Aldi. You guys, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sean's first time eating. On this channel, I take food requests very seriously, and I only make videos when donations come in of what I should eat specifically. Today is no different. Let's give it up for Mr. Bobby Hall. Yo, Bobby! Bobby? Hey, Bobby! Bobby donated and wrote in the red bag chicken from Aldi. This son of a bitch used an exclamation point. <laughs> put exclamation points at the ends of all of these sentences. Comparable to Chick-fil-A, I-M-O. In my opinion. Big acronym guy. Grab a bag. Air fry a few pieces and make a couple sandwiches, or just try them standalone with Polynesian or CFA sauce. This dude loves acronyms. Chick-fil-A. I got that infamous red bag chicken. I got my favorite Aldi brioche buns with some sesame, some sesame seeds. Sesame, Jesus. And I haven't had a lot of Chick-fil-A in my life. I know their sauces are supposed to be like the realest of deals. I got both the Chick-fil-A sauce and the Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce. We're gonna do one sandwich with one and one sandwich with another. Enough wasting time, let's get cooking, let's get eating. Shut up and do it. Very dramatic. We actually need to open this first. <laughs> There's just something about Aldi, man. I don't know what it is. Oh, wow. I'm getting like a wave of nostalgia. Now, this is gonna sound like an insult to the, for the smell, and I don't mean it to, but you know the smell of like breaded high school cafeteria chicken tenders? Did Aldi make those? So we just got like a flattened, good looking piece of chicken, so. I'll use, I'll use these two. There's five in a bag. I like to keep the leftovers in the freezer. <laughs> I'm weird like that. These look pretty damn good. They got black pepper specklings. <coughs> Set these on in here. Hey Bobby, still up? To make these sandwiches a little fancy like Applebee's on a date night, I got some lettuce and I got some Munster cheese, one of my favorite cheeses in all the land. <laughs> how do cows make different cheeses? Like how do they know to kind of like, oh this one's Swiss, oh here comes Munster, Havarti! Oh! Wait, I can't tell if he's serious, does he actually think that's how that works? I'm serious as a heart attack, Bobby. That's pretty serious, isn't it? While those are cooking, I'm gonna start to toast these buns. Those have been in there a few minutes. How are we looking? Ooh. It's cooking up really nice. I'm gonna put it back in here for a few. And then when we have about 30 seconds left in there, I throw my cheese actually on the protein, in this case the chicken, and just kind of let it sizzle into it. It's a culinary term, you guys wouldn't understand. Bobby, open the door. All right, second bun's going in. Oh, look at this sizzle. I'm gonna show you guys this if it's possible. Looking damn good for bagged frozen chicken, I'll tell you what. So I'm putting the Munster right on there. Push those away from the edge a little bit so it doesn't all burn into the side. And since this is at 390, we're putting that in for like 27 and a half seconds maybe. Oh yeah. That's the melt you want right there. Perfect little cheese melt draping over the sides. Bada boom, bada bang. Bobby, it's me, your daddy. Ow, ow, ow. All right, we got our Chick-fil-A sauce going on both buns, well, the top and bottom of one sandwich, and then the Polynesian going on both buns of the other sandwich. It's amazing how much I use this thing for non-fish-related items. Fish spatulas are just one of the best in the game. All right, ooh, yeah. I don't know what that sound was. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Got our washed lettuce here. I have too much right here, but we're just gonna go ahead and pop this down. We got ourselves a couple chicken sandwiches for dinner here. Look at this bad boy, not looking bad at all, huh? This one looking good too. It's very easy to fake talent. You could just give this to somebody because of how good this bun looks, and bang. Regular Chick-fil-A sauce, Polynesian. Looking damn 
pretty. Bobby, this one's for you, buddy. Starting with the Chick-fil-A sauce on the red bag chicken from Aldi. It's that easy. I think those are in the air fryer like 14 minutes, maybe, not even. Cheers. Damn. Wow. Every time I have Chick-fil-A sauce, I remember how much it's in the top five. But let's talk about this chicken because I don't know if I'd know that was frozen. Mmm, bam. This is insane. Tender white meat. This might be the best bagged chicken for a sandwich I've ever had. Wow, adding the Munster too. Just giving it kind of a more complex cheese taste with it. I think people are so unbelievably loyal to Aldi and they have certain products there that they swear by. If you guys have anything like this from Aldi that you swear by, please comment that below. It's a damn good sandwich. Jackie Air Fryer, you did it again. I think about how much more I would have cooked growing up if I had an air fryer. Like if I grew up now and these are so trendy, they're idiot proof. I am an idiot and I'm proof that you can use it. You guys want a bite? I was really debating not putting lettuce on it, but the crunch and the coolness of that and kind of how it works with the sauce, it's really nice. Also, no, it's not coincidental that I'm wearing the electric Eric Ely power plant shirt the day that I eat chicken. <laughs> It'd be wild to take one of those patties and kind of like marinate it in like a vinegary hot sauce, like a Frank's. Have that for a sandwich. I'm gonna do a spicy one in the future, but not just putting hot sauce on it, like letting the sauce soak into that patty. One sandwich left. I think I could eat five of these today. This one looks extra pretty with that cheese melt like that. Look at that sauce kind of like oozing off. That's commercial worthy. So the fun thing about Bobby, our donor today, he actually has a podcast with a couple buddies called TSP, the Talking Shop Podcast. And I was a guest on that just a few weeks ago. Him and his crew are based out of Ohio, super good dudes, a blast talking to them. Bobby, thank you for all the support and thank you for donating to, to my show so I can finally try Red Bag Aldi Chicken. I can't believe it's been this long since I've been able to try it. It had its own refrigerator almost at the store. Like people were in my way when I was trying to get it. <laughs> all right. Enough chatting. Let's get the Polynesian sauce one. God, it looks so good though. Sandwich two. Polynesian sauce has such a good consistency to it. It's that like sugary kind of like marmalade -y. The first ingredient is just sugar. <laughs> Bobby, be nice, Bob. It's a damn good looking sandwich. If you guys have an Aldi by you, buy these. I'm not kidding. Like, this endorsement that Bobby gave these, this donation was worth more than Bobby donated because this is awesome that I get a content, like I get a video out of this, but now I know about Red Bag Chicken and it's gonna be a part of my life going forward. It'd be perfect for quick dinners, because I love sandwiches. I pretty much want a sandwich for every meal. Or like if you had a couple drinks and then you want to make something actually good and you don't have to like order out and spend so much money on like delivery and service fees and just ugh. Look, I love supporting local, but if I can make this for $3 at my house, and if you know anything about me, chicken sandwiches are in my top five of food. I eat them constantly. It's my favorite thing to make from scratch. There's something about this today that's just working. I got the nucleus bite, the center of the sandwich. There's no better bite in the eating experience. Let's do this together. Hope you guys are well. It doesn't taste frozen at all. That's what's wild. The breading is sticking to the chicken. It's not all like that clumpy, like falling off like you can do, you know, when it's like cheaper stuff, you're all nodding your heads. It's as tender as almost like thigh meat. I'm bummed this one's over. Bobby, brother, great donation. Thank you so much for this. Excited to chat Aldi with you guys in the comments here today. A new video for every single do- What, 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 are, what, are, what are you doing? A new video for every single donation that comes in on this channel. The Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal. At any point, throw a donation, write on there what you want me to eat, or if you just want to tip the show, and if you want to be anonymous, that's also fine too. Whatever you want to do, dude, I'm easy breezy. Mm, 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 mm. How often do you see me clean the cutting board? I want three more. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, Bobby! Hey, Bobby!